When a person is in cardiac arrest, early use of an AED can help restore a normal heartbeat. For each minute CPR and defibrillation are delayed, a person's chance of survival decreases by 7 to 10 percent. An AED is simple to use. Just turn it on and follow the prompts. When using an AED for children and infants, follow the appropriate guidelines for their age and or size. For anyone older than eight years of age and or weighing more than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, follow adult AED guidelines. For anyone up to eight years of age, including infants or weighing less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, follow pediatric AED guidelines. If you are the only trained responder on the scene, turn on the AED as soon as it is available and follow the voice prompts. Attach pads firmly to person's bare chest as shown. Remove all clothing covering the chest to place the AED pads and wipe the chest dry if necessary. First, always use adult AED pads on anyone older than eight years of age and or weighing more than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. Do not use pediatric AED pads because the shock delivered will not be sufficient. Then, place one pad on the upper right side of the chest. And the other on the lower left side of the chest, a few inches below the left armpit. Follow the diagrams and labeling of where each pad goes. If the AED pad has a feedback device, follow the manufacturer's instructions for use. Plug-in connector. Plug the pad connector cable into the AED if necessary and prepare to let the AED analyze the heart's rhythm. Make sure no one, including you, is touching the person. Say clear in a loud, commanding voice. Don't touch person. Analyzing. Clear. Be ready to deliver a shock if the AED determines one is needed. Shock advised. Press flashing shock button. Again, make sure no one, including you, is touching the person and say clear in a loud commanding voice. Clear. Push the shock button to deliver a shock and immediately start CPR, beginning with compressions. Shock delivered. Start one CPR. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. And you should continue giving CPR cycles until you notice an obvious sign of life, like breathing. The AED prompts you to analyze again. Another trained responder is available to take over compressions. EMS personnel arrive and begin their care of the person. You are alone and too tired to continue, or the scene becomes unsafe. If you have another CPR and AED trained person with you, work together as a team to provide CPR and use the AED. This teamwork minimizes interruptions to CPR and increases the person's chances of survival. When there are two or more trained responders, the steps for using an AED are the same, but one person does CPR while the other operates the AED. Teddy is here to demonstrate with me how to use an AED when there are two first aid responders. I will tell Teddy to call 911 and get the AED and first aid kit. Then I will begin CPR. When I return with the AED, I'll set it up while John continues CPR. That's right. I won't pause CPR until the device is ready to analyze the person's heart rhythm. After I deliver the shock, or if no shock is advised, we'll switch roles. I'll immediately begin CPR. And I'll operate the AED. Watch as we demonstrate these steps. The scene is safe. The person appears unresponsive. Sir, sir, are you okay? Teddy, the person is unresponsive and not breathing. Go call 911 and get the AED and first aid kit. Okay, I'll call 911, get the AED and a first One, aid kit. Two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and 10 and 11 and 12. And 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine. And Helps 10, on the way. And 12 and I have 15, the AED 14, and I'll 15, set it up. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, Attach pads 9, firmly 30. to person's bare chest as shown. Plug-in connector. Don't touch person. Analyzing. Clear. I'll take over CPR after the shock. Shock advised. Press flashing shock button. Clear. Shock delivered. Start CPR. After the shock was delivered, we switched roles. When we switched roles, we remained positioned on either side of the person with the AED at the head of the person so that both responders could easily operate it. You should switch roles like this about every two minutes. This role switch should take less than 10 seconds in order to minimize interruptions to chest compressions. AEDs work the same way regardless of the person's age and size. However, there are some differences in AED pad selection and positioning when providing care for younger or smaller children and infants. For children up to eight years of age, including infants and or weighing less than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms, use pediatric AED pads to deliver a lower energy dose. For children, position these pads as depicted in the diagram. If pediatric AED pads are not available, it is safe to use adult AED pads. However, the AED pads should never touch each other when applied, like this. So if it appears that the AED pads would touch each other, place one pad in the middle of the chest and place the other pad on the back between the shoulder blades. When using an AED on an infant, always use the front back pad placement. To do this, apply one pad in the middle of the infant's chest and the other pad on the infant's back between the shoulder blades. 